So today we're working on this BMW 528i F10. The customer complained that he has no power steering. So steering is very stiff and there are warning lights all over the place. Let's find out what's wrong with it. So we've got APS and ABS warning lights and we've got absolutely no power steering. So I did a quick scan of the car. And what I noticed immediately is that we have no communications with our electronic power steering. Before fixing our problems, let's take a look at the schematic which demonstrate how this system is designed. So this is our EPS which has a ground, a power and two signal wires. It receives signal from our ZGM through the flex ray network systems. So we're gonna check these wires to see if there are any interruptions. This is our electronic power steering and basically it's a motor mounted on top of a normal steering rack. There are two big wires going into the module to fit the electric motors and there are three little wires going into the module which are wake up signal wire and two communication signal wires of the flex ray. So to measure the wake up signal wire, we just need to turn on our ignitions and wire up our multimeter. I've just received some voltage which means this wake up wires is still functional. Now, I've already got the scope hooked up to the communication wire and let's see what this communication looks like. So as you can see, this is our EPS flex ray pulse. It's very different than what it's supposed to be so we can conclude that something is wrong with our communications. And moving on to our power and ground. The power is good because I've already checked it. Now, I'll check the ground of this motor and what I found is the other end of my ground wires bolted to the bolt joints is very loose so this yeah. might be our problems now we're going to tighten the screw and remeasure our flex ray signal as you can see this signal pattern is completely different than before and this look exactly like what it's supposed to look like i think at this point the problem might have been solved next we're going to go ahead and delete the full coat and turn on the engine to see whether the symptom is still there as you can see, there's no warning lights on the dashboard and we can see the power steering is back to normal. So in conclusions, there were bad communications with the power steering module resulted from a background of the motor that makes our EPS system completely off 